Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeebs, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge. And um, what a crazy weekend I had. And it was very fun doing the very lighthearted radio head, as I do on the channel, always changing it up. Um, and it's always nice too, because I get, it, it's, it's, it's really kind of super cool that I know a lot of people from different genres on this stay through the channel as I circle back to maybe get to their genre, be it something as super chill as Radiohead or something as gnarly as Septic Flesh or Bohemoth or something of that nature. So to me, that's really, I'm super humbled by it. And uh, I really super appreciate uh, that part of this journey on YouTube. You guys are uh, uh, setting me forth on. Uh, speaking of that, though, I have a brand new band on the channel I've never heard of. The band is Malevolence. And the song I'm going to be doing is On Broken Glass. And uh, I, I, when I clicked in that, um, I got the lyrics on this too. So I'm actually going to follow along on the lyrics, so I'm not going to base what I'm thinking, hearing on the lyrics. But it, it's, sometimes it's really fun to, uh, to follow through on that because you know how I am about lyrics. Like, most of the time I can't understand them. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm more about the music here. So <coughs> as per usual, thank you so much for your support. The links for the cup of coffee, the headsets I'm using, Patreon is all down below. So let's do this. Uh, this is the band Malevolence. Uh, this is a must be a brand new release, 2022. The name of the album is uh, Malicious Intent. I'm sorry, I'm doing this because Spotify. It was a very small title on the album cover there. And uh, the name of the track is On Broken Glass. So let's do this. All right. kind of wasn't expecting that because well you know I don't know what to expect when I'm listening to music for the first time but they came in with such power I love that the I love the kind of like power war um, arrangement war style drum percussive arrangement of toms that open up tracks a lot of times they're very it kind of reminds me in my theater of the mind you know a bunch of soldiers getting ready pounding their chest kind of a thing getting ready to go into action kind of a vibe you know the storm drums i think i might be getting some of that too because of the ost reactions i do on the other channel that use big storm drums it's usually that kind of you know uh imagery that i'm getting in my head because i'm just that way <clears throat> then they have the, he's they're opening up with these, these these power chords that are still kind of you know, like revving you up and revving you up. And then once they really start getting into the power and stuff like that, it's almost like now they're getting ready to launch, uh, you know, the weapons. I don't know why I'm thinking about it like that. 
But then when they come, when he comes in with the verse and when he's starting to power through it, obviously I'm thinking the tone of this is going to be super fast, you know, blast beat kind of, uh, both rhythmical arrangements, like how the drums playing and, and that great riff that these guys laid out and started up once they cleared it up. It's like once they started on that path and they really opened up into that riff, it was super well written. And I love the, um, the guitar tones on that are sick. <clears throat> but then when they come in with the vocals, I'm thinking, okay, this is what we got. Blast beat, you know, they're, they're really cooking right up, right up front. But then the second half of that, it kind of lays back on the, um, instead of, you know, the blast beat style, it, it was almost like a halftime kind of vibe. It felt like it, obviously, because of the way, you know, the, the drummer changed up the rhythmical arrangement. <clears throat> but by the time he got into the hook, uh, what I super dig is the intensity and the integrity of the power of the vocals from that in gnarly, like, you know, first, um, you know, verse coming in just, you know, choke throat kind of growling and stuff like that kept the intensity of that growling with that melodic you know lower part of a, of a melody that they're singing through the hook while there's that really super cool that's happening <clears throat> through the um uh through the hook as a secondary melodic hook with that guitar playing so that was really super cool and i'm i'm reading the lyrics and the lyrics are actually really super badass i mean i don't know what to how to interpret it but you know, I think because I don't have any experience reading lyrics and a lot of super hardcore uh, metal and stuff like that in my mind, I might be thinking there, you know, it's always going to be about blood and guts and war and stuff. And come to find out there's a lot of hardcore present nature emotions. You know, when I mean that, I mean by present society kind of vibe uh, in the was so badass how they broke us down and took us on di different rhythmical journeys on some of their stop start rhythmic arrangements and stuff like that <coughs> excuse me i can't i can't put it together because it's it's still like on you know when you pull a steak off a barbecue it's still cooking <laughs> that's how my brain feels when i listen to songs that are like this and have so many great things happening it's like i'm listening to it still it's going to my head and i'm just trying to get my my thoughts together <clears throat> that stop start what they were doing with the rhythm there was so badass and it was such a great kind of like um power reset for me that bu -bu and I, I don't know if that was the rhythm but you know what i'm talking about everything it was stop you know uh, the stop start stuff that was going on in unison 
Um, the solo, the first solo I heard, um, just super badass, but I, I kind of like how they, the, the intensity of what they were playing in support of that uh, rhythm, uh, I mean of that solo, was still really intact in the mix. So they didn't drop the background or they didn't drop the, you know, the supporting track that the guitar solo was happening. Um, the guitar is back a little bit so the guitar lead would take more of a presence in the mix. They let it sit and really mar marinate, but because of the separation of the guitar, hard left, hard right, there was still that pocket in there. And of course, you know, the technique and the, the metronomic, if that's a word, just uh, quality of these musicians nowadays is just absolutely mind numbing. Um, but I, I just really need to, two other things I wanna say really quick. The last hook out, you know, you see me doing this, what I was telling you about the first stop, you know, I really love that little melody that was happening in an arpeggiation that's going on back there. <clears throat> but I, I, maybe you saw me going like this or something. It's because it sounded like something was in the background um, holding, uh, maybe, they, maybe they quad recorded some guitars because it got really rich, but there was something in the background holding some kind of ambient sustain back there. So it could have been just, you know, power uh, chords that were rung out with a little more reverb to, for that um, uh, effect and everything. And, uh, and then the second guitar, I don't want to say it was a, mel a, a solo, but more of that melodic thing was also really super cool. But, but I got to go back to the vocal performance and the melodic hook and uh, the vocal performance in the hook and the intensity of the performance during the melody. And as I've been learning in this journey a couple of years, you know, some people are like, you know, this was all great, but then they get a little whiny because of, you know, their melody became, this was... This, I think, is probably what most people probably want to be hearing when it comes to, is, I don't know if this is death, metal, mellow death, metal core. I don't know, please, if you come for me, please. It's only because I don't know. <laughs> but just the intensity and the power of the vocals and keeping the uh, integrity of how they started with that dark, heavy growling and the melody that was part of that, you know, of their hook was so solid. I mean, I, through and through, I felt like I wasn't, you know, trying to be sold a melodic hook, if you know what I'm talking about. So, I don't know. I am her because it's my channel. <laughs> Anyhow, um, thanks for hanging out. Uh, God, wrapping up this year pretty fast. I got a few more things I'd like to do before I take a short little break uh, after uh, the 25th. But uh, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much for the comments. Thank you so much for the cups of coffee. The link is down below. Anybody wants to buy me a Christmas cup of coffee? Anyhow, guys, listen, you take care of yourself. <laughs> Have a wonderful day.